let's move on and discuss about uh, gas chromatography in little bit more detail so in gas chromatography what we have we have a flow controllers where we can control the flow or the pressure of the flow because as we as we discussed the pressure of the flow or the velocity of the flow affects the whole system because if we raise the velocity higher then we can have we can result in the overlapping of loops that is not a good so the resolution drops in these cases if the resolution drops then we can you can say the from the the whole system uh, do not work properly so we need to have a perfect data F and for having those perfect data we need to control the flow that's why we have the flow controller we have a inject uh, injection port normally it's a six uh, chamber injection ports uh, which are used we have a sample which is injected through this injection port and then we have the column which is the main part which is uh, where, where the stationary phase resides and through which the mobile phase passes through and at the end of the column we have the detector which will detect that normally in, the, in this case we use uh, thermal conductivity detector or TCD we can use MST and all these different types of detectors okay we, and we know that we use we can use helium argon nitrogen gas as mobile phases and we use these things okay so what is going on in this case is the sample is transferring from this place the flow is going from this direction so this is the mobile phase molecules passes through here so mobile phase molecule actually makes this sample pass from this throughout the column and finally enters into the detector when the detector detects it 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 will end up it, it attached to a computer screen and this computer processes the data and it shows up in the monitor screen and we can measure the peak height and the area for the quantitative analysis and at the end of this detector uh, the whole mobile phase which is not needed for the further purposes which is useless now is discarded or, or released from this whole system and remember each time when we run a chromatography after the running of the chromatography we have to clean this column because we need to have a, a column which is free of any kind of molecules sorry any kind of molecules any kind of molecules from the previous experiments okay that's why we need to have a clean column every time 